Hello, member. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Honourable Chair. Uh, my question uh, probably uh, will have been anticipated, uh, certainly by the Minister of Staff. Uh, Mr. Chair, I've asked about this uh, uh, for the past two years in a row. This is the third year I'm asking about the Jericho lands, uh, which are located in Vancouver Point Grey. Uh, there's a provincial parcel of property, a number of acres. Uh, the neighbours uh, and community members are incredibly concerned that the province will do uh, what they did with uh, Burke Mountain, which is essentially give the property away uh, to a friend of the government uh, and not take into concern uh, the concerns, of, take into account the concerns of the community. And uh, they have good reason to be concerned. Uh, July 25th, uh, I came here and I asked if the government was planning to sell the land. I was told no. January 30th. Uh, 2014, uh, the government wrote to a journalist saying they weren't planning on selling the land. May 6, 2014, I came here and asked. The government said they weren't planning on selling the land. And I bring those messages back to my community. And sure enough, on December 4th, 2014, they read in the news, quote, at this point, we're at early conversations with First Nations about their interest in the property for the purposes of sale. They heard that from the former minister uh, before this minister took over this ministry. So I'm wondering if I can get a straight answer from this minister. Uh, where is the government at in the sale of the Jericho lands and what interests of the communities will be taken into account before the land is sold or will they be hearing about the sale on global uh, uh, rather than uh, through proper communications and consultation with the community? Minister. Chair, thank you. Um, I can confirm uh, to the member of Vancouver Point Grey that in recent months uh, we have begun to engage in more formal discussions and, uh, and we won't certainly prejudge the outcome of those discussions. Uh, we're certainly interested in what they have to say and what opportunities presented and, and, and First Nations are certainly noted and if we, we're happy to explore the opportunity where First Nations uh, should offer uh, eventually materialize. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, my, my question to the Minister, I thought it was clear, but I'll say it again in a much shorter form. Will he consult with the community before disposing of this land? Will he come to the community or will his representatives come to the community and consult before selling this land so that they can hear the concerns and visions that the community has for the future of this land?
Minister. Uh, Mr. Chair, as a, as a member of very, may very well know, uh, local government is indeed responsible for all land use decisions and will certainly employ uh, all different ordinates and bylaws and processes they have, and uh, that's when the extensive community consultations uh, would occur. And the member from uh, Nanaimo Couch, is that Nanaimo North Couch. North Couch, I apologize. Thank you, Please, Mr. Chair. Sorry. Um, I suppose the uh, simple word brutal as a description of an answer isn't entirely parliamentary, but it seems appropriate that uh, an answer like that should be described by myself and my colleague here from Point Grey, Vancouver Point Grey, that uh, that is absolutely brutal. You know, the, this ministry is responsible for the sale of these properties, and uh, yet uh, the minister who's responsible for transparency in government, for open government, is refusing to commit to community consultation on the disposal of important public properties, important to the constituents of my colleague from Vancouver Point Grey, important to, in, a, uh, in terms of the history of the province, that the, gov that the government and this minister are not prepared to commit to full consultation with the community seems, uh, in that simple word, brutal. It's uh, unbelievable to me. And the, the answer the minister gave before the questions from the member from Vancouver Point Grey around the uh, appraisal value, the sale price, and the identity of purchasers that he would have the ministries that owned the properties confirm those, that information for me is also a brutal avoidance of, of sharing information. His ministry is responsible for the sale of those properties. His ministry and the, the staff that surround him and the minister have access to that information now and the public, the people of BC, ought to have access to that information now. So I'll ask him about the Willingdon lands in Burnaby. What was the appraised value for this property done by BC assessment? Was a third party assessment done or an appraisal? What date was the property sold? We know it was sold and we know it was sold for 57.9 million and we would like to know what the value was, appraisal, assessment, and the date of the sale. 